Triple Chocolate Mousse Cake A Heavenly Keto Triple Chocolate Mousse Cake This is the low-carb grain-free dessert that will blow the skeptics' minds. Layers of white chocolate mousse, dark chocolate mousse and grain-free chocolate cake. The other day at CrossFit, I happened to mention to a woman that I write a low-carb food blog. Her reaction is one you've surely seen and heard before when you tell folks you follow a low-carb diet. Oh, I don't think I could ever do low-carb, I like food too much. I resisted the urge to roll my eyes, because I've heard that one countless times. People think this way of life is all about deprivation and resisting temptation and basically denying myself anything tasty. I could have ignored the whole thing but something in me cracked. I looked at her and smiled sweetly and said, oh yes you could, because I can make all your favorite foods low-carb. I am that good. Cocky of me, to be sure, but it's a growing conviction I have that almost any food or recipe can be turned into a low-carb meal. You just have to be on the lookout for the ways to make it work. Those ways and means don't always present themselves immediately. You may find yourself staring longingly at high-carb recipes, thinking you don't stand a chance in ever making them into keto-friendly. So you move on to other things, but that one certain recipe idea stays with you. You may even take a little stab at it with one method that results in failure. So you move on again, thinking it's out of reach. And then you're just perusing Pinterest one day and bam. There is it, the solution staring you in the face. I had seen these gorgeous triple chocolate mousse cakes many a time and had eyed them longingly. Like this gorgeous mousse cake from Crunchy Creamy Sweet, and this divine layered mousse cake from That Skinny Chick Can Bake. I knew I could do the cake part easily, and I have chocolate mousse down pat. I have both a traditional low-carb chocolate mousse recipe that involves whipped egg whites as well as a super easy keto blender mousse recipe, both which would work in a cake like this. What I didn't have was the white chocolate mousse part, because really good low-carb white chocolate is a tricky one. There is this xylitol sweetened white chocolate from KZ Clean Eating but I've tried to bake with it before and it doesn't melt very willingly. It ends up quite thick and it really did not work well in my first mousse attempt. It's also very expensive. So it wasn't until I tackled low-carb white chocolate mousse in a completely different way, using a cheesecake-based recipe, that I finally saw the light at the end of the tunnel. I didn't need pre-made white chocolate, I could just use straight cacao butter. When the mousse worked out so well, I knew it was time to make the cake. And oh, what a heavenly cake it was. So creamy and good, absolutely one of those cakes where no one will know it's low-carb and gluten-free. If you're interested in making the pretty chocolate crackle on top, follow this easy recipe for chocolate shards from That Skinny Chick Can Bake. I did it with 2 ounces of Lily's dark chocolate and used about half of them on the cake. I tried it with the white chocolate from KZ Clean Eating but again, it didn't melt very well so there's only a few of them my cake. 